Hey guys, how's it going? Over here in uh, Springfield. Came in to get some fuel and something to eat. It's middle of the night, about uh, 2.30 in the morning. Let's see what happened since I left you last time. I was over there in Perrysburg, Ohio. And then I drove to Pittston to get some work done on the truck. Got the airlines replaced and the grease job and Got the heater fixed, sort of. It's working again. But I don't know that it was ever broken because it just started working when he was when he started to fix it on it. Well, when he hooked it up to the computer, it started working. And then he wrote in the notes to tell the driver not to have the key on when he's trying to use the heat. But I never did that, so I don't know. Anyway. Then I just took the rest of Monday off and Stayed at Pittston, did my laundry and ate, and got some rest. And then, because I wanted to pick up my new trainee, Dawn, the next morning. I didn't want to pick him up the, the night before. So I left out that morning and went over to Allentown to Lineage. Delivered that load I took from uh, Reed City, Michigan. The yogurt, I think it was down there. Got it down there and then I picked another load. Off-load choice that would work real good. It was going to Shodak Landing, New York. To, I forget the name of the place. Some grocery warehouse up there. It's by the pilot up there. And then we delivered. That was delivering at uh, 9 p.m. that night. I picked up Dawn about 11 a.m. I went over there, we started driving. I started driving, because I always start driving first. And we went up to, oh, the travel plaza up there on 87. We switched out, so I could have Don drive and I can see how he drives. But before, they, before that, they had sent me a pre-plan, a secret load from up there in the Northeast going down to North Carolina. But it was almost a full on team load, so I told them it's too soon for me to do that because I hadn't even seen Don drive yet. So they took that off of me and gave it to another team. But then that team had a load. They were supposed to deliver to the same place I was going to up there in Shodak Landing. But anyway, then me and Don got going and I saw how he could drive. They sent, and then they sent me that load for the other team, wanted me to deliver it too in Shodak Landing. So I would have been at that grocery warehouse all darn night long. I didn't want to do that. And by then I saw Don's driving and he was good. So I figured I could just lay in the back and get a little rest while he drove some. Because I could trust him to do that. So I told my fleet manager, he said, could he get me that load back that I had turned down? because I didn't want to do that other team's grocery load. And he said, yeah, he got it back for me. So we went over there and delivered over there, that grocery warehouse. And it took them till about one, after one in the morning to get it done. Then we went over to the pilot across the street and we parked because I was going to take a nap for a couple hours. And then clean out my trailer and go on up there to get the other load. But then, uh, when I got done, went over there and did my departure call, they never did send me the other load. So I thought it was gone to the, to the first team that had it. I just assumed they took it. And I asked the dispatch, I said, what happened to that, that plan I was on? And they never did even respond at all. So I just went and picked another load. I picked one going from St. Albans, Vermont to Las Vegas, an ice cream load. And then I went to sleep because it didn't have to pick up. It had all day to pick up, so I thought I'd get a little rest before I went up there and picked it up. But then come about 6 or 7 in the morning, Dawn had got up to get out of the truck, and well, I woke up. And I looked at my phone, and there was like 15 messages on there. And I was like, uh-oh. 
And they were all messages trying to get me to go get that load because they, cause they also had figured it out. I guess there was some mess up or something. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I couldn't get up there in time to get it. It was supposed to pick up at 9 a.m. There was no way. So I told them I won't realistically be able to get up there till like 3 p.m. Because I have to clean out the trailer, get fuel, and do some other things I needed to do as a human being. And I just woke up. They never did answer. I guess they thought it was okay. So I did all those things I needed to do. And I cleaned out the trailer. It took me forever because it was a big mess. I don't know how they get so much pallet crap in those trailers. Unless it was from three or four loads, but I think it was from one load. It was like half a trash can full of crap out of there. It really needed a wash out. But I got it clean. And then I went up there, drove up there and got the load. And then Don started driving that load first. I drove up there to get it and then Don started driving. He drove down a ways. Where did we switch? We switched out down there in Pennsylvania. And I drove it the rest of the way, all the rest of the... We switched out about 2 in the morning. And I drove it the rest of the way. It took me until noon to get it there. We delivered that one. We were empty about 1 p.m., that one. That would have been on Wednesday. Or Thursday. When we, when we Wednesday, I guess. Anyway, we got that one delivered and they gave us another one. A beer load that I really shouldn't have took because I was really, really tired. It was picking up in Fletcher, North Carolina. And it went to uh, Ohio. Went up to uh, somewhere north of Columbus. Off of 23. Can't remember the name of the place. And it, uh, then it had another stop up in... Uh, I think it was Glen Willow, Ohio, up there near Cleveland. And Don went and picked that one up. And he drove again until about two o'clock in the morning up to Corbin. He did pretty good. Then I took over and I drove it all the rest of the way and got it delivered to both of the stops. And I was beat tired because I didn't hardly get any sleep. That's the way it is when you first start training someone. Because you have to be up every time they're trying to do stuff because they don't know how to do anything. And you don't really have the trust in them to be able to conk out all the way back there. So essentially I went for two days with almost no sleep. I was beat. So I was glad when they sent me this other plan that they sent me. It was another secret load. But it was just what I was looking for. Because it had time on it for me to uh, get some sleep before it had to be picked up. So I did that. I slept for like 15 hours. And then we got up in the morning and we took our showers and we headed out and we picked it up. And we headed over here with it. We headed this way. I can't say where we're going yet. But it's one of those kind of loads. I'll let you know later where we went. But for now, I can't. But anyway, that's about all I've been doing. Just been doing the training. The beginning of training, I call it hell week. It is, it's hell when you first start. But then it gets better. It's already getting easier. But that's what's going on. I think TNT students need to know that Somehow they need to know more what's going on with TNT. What TNT really is. Because I don't think they really have any idea. And then they get on the truck and almost immediately you're going, if you can do it, you're going full team because that's what you need to do. That's what Prime wants you to do. They start shoveling you team loads. But I don't think a lot of people have any idea what team driving really entails or what it is. And they always seem kind of shell-shocked. But Don has recovered from it. He seems okay, but he did go through the... Through that... Through that... Uh, 
period of time where he looked kind of dazed. Because I don't think people have any idea. Like, team driving is the most gnarly trucking I've ever done in my 15 or 16 years of truck driving. And, and people are going, like, wham right into it from civilian life, basically. Just regular life, and they don't know what they're in for. So there should be some, I don't know how they could do it. There's really no way unless you experience it. But anyway, that's about all I got for now. So I'll talk to you later. Y'all be nice. Y'all take care. Y'all have a good one. Bye.